Yo everyone and welcome back to the channel. In my previous vlog, I recently installed one of the Android head units we supply into Robin's Jazz. And before the new head unit upgrade, I actually wasn't too impressed with the sound quality inside the car. And now with the additional parameters that I am able to set, the sound is even flatter. I continue I must say that I have had previous experience with this audio company in my former years as a DJ and I've recently come to learn that they've also started their own car audio line and as a disclaimer this video is not sponsored by the supplier I purchased the product from nor the audio company themselves so the upgrade I will be doing today comes in the form of the hybrid salt dome tweakers purchased at DC electronics for Twitter Road Food Group so coming to the packaging, this will be a first time unboxing for both myself and the, you guys as the viewers. And upon first inspection, I do quite like the color as well as the packaging. And once we open it, we are greeted with, I, I assume is the, yes, the user manual. And with some installation instructions. And... Um, Package contents, this information as to what's included and how to do your installation. And then the tweeters themselves. Nice solid construction from what I can see. Like the little hybrid logo once I can get it to focus. And your two push type fittings. And then the reason why I really was keen to try out these is because of these high pass filters that do come included. This will just make installation and removal of the door cards a little bit easier as the tweeters will connect onto one end. The other end will connect to the additional output on the factory speakers. Although I am also considering replacing the factory speakers with some aftermarket coaxials. But I first need to import the new speaker brackets which will go into the door as the current factory ones are a one piece design. So without further ado, let's get to the car and I can just explain quickly the process of how I want to mount this and then we will begin with that installation. In terms of installation, what I am considering doing is to go through this section of the door card or door panel with a hole saw. Uh, the diameter of those tweeters is 46 millimeters and the hole saw tool itself is a 44 mil. So I will just use that to make up my template and then I will start with a drill bit just to widen it hole a bit. As well as going through the soft metal behind the door panel. As I'd like to go for a look that seems somewhat OEM but unfortunately it's load shedding now. And I won't be able to continue with anything. So I'm going to put this on a back burner until tomorrow and then we'll commence the insulation. The next day. Just a quick update, I managed to finish cutting that hole with the old saw and as you can see tweeter is mounted, it's looking quite good although I do see there's a little bit of a gap here on top as well as uh, on the bottom but the bottom is not as bad. So what I'll do um, when I do pop around that r &M again I'll just ask Sean for some epoxy and then I'll just fill that in so that I can close the gap and make it look a little bit more OEM. And then the next step will be to just remove this door speaker. 
and to fit this um, resistor or capacitor box and then put everything back together again and repeat the same process for the driver side and as I mentioned earlier in the vlog I am also looking at replacing these factory door speakers with some aftermarket coaxials and I'll possibly look at doing a sub in the booth as well but for now let me just continue putting everything back together and then we can get to that sound test so just as another piece of advice uh, to anyone who is looking at fitting some tweeters into the GD3 this is the driver side door card or door panel and on the back you'll actually see that there are these markings with a little cutout um, that's actually the position of the tweeter but um, you saw as I was busy on the passenger side I actually took some measurements and I put the hybrid ones just slightly above on this mark or on that line um, just because of the size of the tweeter itself uh, I wanted it to sit as close to uh, center as possible uh, from the other side obviously and if I had to put it any lower then there was a good possibility that the tweeter housings itself would overlap on these two edges which I didn't want as I wanted it to look as OEM as possible so let me just finish up the driver side and then we will get to a sound test simplest upgrades that can be made to any car audio system and I must say that the clarity from these hybrid tweeters is super crisp I'm actually so stoked and happy to have put these in let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the upgrade as I have mentioned I will be upgrading the speakers in the doors as well that will be front and rear and I have placed an order for the fronts with some adapter brackets so let's hope and see whether those brackets are correct and if so then that will be another new vlog that will come at a later stage until the next one guys, remember, your balls, your rules, stay motivated. Cheers.